Hello again and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned in for more videos. Okay everyone, this is the second type of reading questions and this is a summary completion type. A summary completion type is pretty is easy and straightforward. It's something like the previous one, okay? It's like gap field questions. But the difference is that you have been given some options to choose from. So don't forget that the questions are still in order. Number one, number two, number three, number four okay they appear in order in the text and you have to read number one and you have to underline the keywords and you have to try to understand everything very carefully and you have to come up with paraphrases in your mind then you have to predict the answer itself and the part of a speech whether the word is a noun a verb an adjective or an adverb after that you use the keywords to locate your answers in the passage, to find the location of your answer in the passage. And then you read that part very carefully again to find the answer itself. Something that is different here is that you have been given some options to choose from. Something you have to do is that you have to use your knowledge of grammar, vocabulary and collocation, okay, to omit the wrong answers. For example, for number one, I know that I need a verb here. I know that I need a noun here. Okay, so uh, like there are seven different options and three of them are not nouns. So I can easily omit those ones and I can limit my choices. So something that is very important for you is to omit the wrong options either before starting to read the passage or after you have found the answer this is going to help you dramatically this is going to help you a lot okay when you omit the wrong answers when you limit your choices you can find the answer more easily now i'm going to take one sample test myself i want you to print it out the links are in the descriptions below and take it with me or no just watch me take this test and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so all right everyone let's get started with the second type of question summary completion there's a short text here the marvelous this marvelous invention and we have a short summary here and you have to choose from these options don't forget that you can use your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary and collocation to omit the wrong answers the importance of language there really is one invention that has had a major impact on some aspect of life on difficult no and admired no grammatically they are wrong on fundamental yeah maybe fundamental on complex aspects of life no no on material yeah maybe material on original no on easy aspects no we don't say an easy aspects of life so it's either material or fundamental oh my god my phone creations lang language language or will oh will will a uh, language must take pride of place our english is the wheel is here the wheel agriculture slice bread may have transformed a material yeah that's it material existence that's material okay i'm going to circle it e the first one is e so i'm going to erase the other ones that i just crossed out so that i can cross them out again for the following ones all right but no impact has been as adjective as as that of language as fundamental i think that's fundamental but in yeah i think that's fundamental and compared to language of all other inventions pale in in significance it means they are not really important it means that is fundamental important Okay, that's it. Fundamental. G. As that of language. Language is very yet composed of just a small number of sounds. Is it complex? I think complex. 
complex language it's very yet composed of just a small number of sounds sounds I have to look for sounds sophistication complex sophistication yet use of genius simplicity this marvelous invention of composing those sounds and making variety of expressions which why is to others so okay so in its uh, own right it is a tool of extraordinary sophistication yet it's an idea of okay this is an idea language is very complex yet okay yet because there is a uh, there is an opposition here because of yet composed of simple sound just as small so it must be complex as b remember language appears to be to use difficult to use right easy and thing using to use however it is often overlooked okay i think that's easy So, for the homage to language's unique accomplishment, conceals a simple yet critical incongruity. Confusing. Okay, your language appears to be difficult to use. Yes, that's it. Easy. I can tell by the meaning of that, by the general meaning of that. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. Oh, let's check the answers. the first one type 2 yes EGBF EGBF yeah that's it all right let's take the second example summary completion so don't forget that these these, these questions are in order one two three four five no more than two words that's very important maybe one maybe two words consumer of consumers often complain that they experience a feeling of a feeling of something when trying to put together do-it-yourself products okay a feeling of what this is going to do it yourself products are really side as a source of unnecessary expense of frustration frustration a feeling of frustration yes it's frustration frustration well uh, need the products which have not been tested by companies on a which have not been tested by companies on 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 something on a uh, few companies seem to test their instructions by having them followed by a first time user on a first time user first time user first time user is one word okay first time because of this hyphen it makes it an adjective first time user in situations where not keeping to the correct procedures could affect safety issues, it is especially important that safety issues and then that information is not left out. What kind of information is not left out? And no assumptions are made about that stage. Okay. Okay. Some information must not be left out. Often essential information is made at steps in instructions. For instance, some taken for granted. Uh, some people have special knowledge. Uh, importance that special knowledge knowledge information special special information is not left out as well as it is assumed uh, so, okay i think the answer is a special not a special yeah that's it a special let me read it again important 
the special information okay often oh maybe essential essential information essential is, is it immediate oh yeah that's it essential not a special mm, it's not left okay yeah it's not emitted it's not left out essential that's essential essential remember there is a evident or the consumer having a certain amount of having a certain amount of that was your knowledge uh it's not left time the assumptions are made by the but if you can have a certain amount of certain amount of knowledge knowledge or special knowledge which one is better special knowledge special knowledge all right uh, lawyers however have raised objections to the use of plain english they feel that it would result in ambiguity in documents and cause people to lose faith in something as it would mean departing from language that has been used in the courts for a very long time okay mm -hmm. if james introduced in plain english they feel that it would result in giving them and cause people to lose faith in okay i just want to material in plain material which have come mainly from the legal profession Lawyers point to the risk of ambiguity inherent in the use of the language for legal or official documents. And fit in something. And the attention in it for confidence. And fit in people will be because people to lose fit in something. It's in legal formulation. Confidence in that's it. That's it. Legal formulations. And legal formulations. yes okay that's it this part is finished too thank you everyone for watching this video now please move to the next part and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos thank you